Fuck that race shit. Throw that shit out the window. <laughs> Throw that shit out the window. That shit don't mean nothing. Man. One in every I mean, I can't, I can't judge you just like the cut. Oh, well, he has brown eyes, so I'm going to discriminate against him. That's bullshit, bro. Listen, if motherfuckers see you doing your work and motherfuckers know you do your shit, fuck what they talking about. You go shine anyway. Because it's, it's basically like this. It's kind of like, um, see it like a big ass sperm wheel, right? And you know how they got the little bitty fish that eat off them, right? So when you start breaking off some of that negative, that, that negative bullshit, nigga, you gonna swim faster. You gonna outshine every motherfucking body, bro. Fuck them. I mean, kind of like my, my man over here with the camera. Um, we was going to Long Beach City, and I ain't gonna front. We had a racist teacher. Like uh, he didn't fuck with black people. He served Mercedes. He Newport Beach, and that's it. He wasn't fucking with nobody. Any with any shade of Africa in them, on them, or around them. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. We took it. We took it, and 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 became the Jackie Robinson of the whole uh, of, the, of the whole camp because we took it, and we was like, all right, fuck it, then. You want to hate on us because we black or whatever? You ain't been around Negroes, or you ain't ain't kind of greens, or whatever your situation is. That's not me. We'll take it. We'll take it, and not only uh, 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 um, hit your glass ceiling. Would shatter that motherfucker to the point where you like, damn. Now I gotta sit back and be like, y'all niggas did that, bro. <laughs> Real shit. And I'm doing this, and and and, and um, I did this. I did this with my homeboy who had cerebral palsy in a wheelchair. So you can't miss this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you you really can't. You I swear you can't miss these. And, and we like a squad of like eight deep blacks, Mexicans. Every Chinese and they tripping like what the fuck? Nah, this can't happen. <laughs> oh no. And you know your shit? Fuck that. They gotta fuck with you. Film festival. And we were the only one from the company uh, campus and what we won two of the five awards that we were the only minority film. Um, I'll say this from traveling too. This year I've been going to multiple festivals. Um, they have the urban and they have the black festivals, which is pretty much easy to get in. But the ones that I focus on, the ones that are not African American or black or urban, I focus on the international ones. And I was looking, seeing the chair my, uh, I went to Miami in October, and I was, uh, I looked at the categories. wasn't too many minorities nominated. I think I was, I was up for best director, only black director. Um, three of my actors were nominated, only black actors. My show was nominated, only urban show, and we won versus all of them. And every festival I go, I see that. I'm like, I say the same thing. I don't see my people there. I'm walking around like, damn, we ain't here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, cool, you know. But, you know, it goes them, just grind. If you're passionate about what you do, it'll, it'll show. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see the fruits awesome uh, of everything. Let me, let me so, get Isaiah in there. Uh, yeah, big back enough for the man of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Um, that's definitely the right mindset to have because you will face that in your college. I faced that at Cal State Long Beach um, in many of my classes. And, um, you know, it gets to the point to where it's like that's going to happen regardless, but you can't let that deter you at all, stop you at all. You just do you and you make it happen. I got to the point to where in many of my classes I used our projects to just shoot my own personal projects. So we're in, and I was, I was a kid in class who was, uh, you know, shooting very simple, or pitching very simple projects, same thing every semester. But like, all right, yeah, there's Isaiah's project. And when I go on set, you know, I'd use the first three hours of my 12-hour shoot to, like, shoot the class project, and then the rest, I was like, all right, we're going to do this now. And switch it up and shoot your own shit. So you're using the school's resources to fund your own thing. Because what you need to have when you get out is you need, you need to build your portfolio. And if you're only trying to build your portfolio with your school projects and you get out, just like it's going to be a problem. So definitely... You try to use the school's resources to fund as many as your projects as you possibly can because once you get out, you're not going to have access to all that equipment. The concern is that when I put my vision out, then I want to know that I can trust the input that I'm, being, that I'm being given because after you spend two or three years getting your vision tampered with, you know, how, how do you keep it true to who you are unless you trust the input that you're getting? Me and Mike, well, who are we shooting for the other day? the interview we did. What's the, that black producer's name? He did stuff with like Michael Jackson, all that stuff. Anyway, we were shooting for, uh, we were shooting for, for a famous black producer 
And uh, the person who was having me shoot looked at me and said, I normally don't shoot with white people. Yeah. Right? She yeah. looked straight at She said, I normally don't shoot with white people because they don't get the skin color right. Right? right. Okay, so um, my point is, is it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't really matter because the product that we gave her, she liked, and now we're doing a documentary with her, right? And now we're getting paid for that documentary. So what I'm going to tell you is, is school's great, and I'm going to be the combative force behind everyone telling you that school's the number one answer. But I think the number one answer is going out there and shooting your product. That, and there's money, and you you know, it's not like, it's always going to be free because we're friends. No, when there's money, there's people are going to get paid. When there's not, then there's not. And that's why I'm saying, you know, it comes down to favors. There's a lot of favors for people as well, um, where you know you might do something for free, knowing that they're going to be able to help you out down the line, some way. How y'all doing? This is Isaiah Harris, and y'all tune in to Get Loaded TV. Cali Breeze, Get Loaded TV, Digital Dope Radio. Yeah, you know what it is. Where are we, sister? This is Professor Lawson. You're at Compton College with the film video program, and we're here with all our alumni, uh, communicating about how you transfer, how you get to higher heights in your career, networking with one another, loving on one another, encouraging each other in film, and it's been a great time. We spent about two and a half hours talking about the ins and outs of the industry, uh, being a person of color working in the industry, and how you keep it pushing and never give up. So how does it feel to see your seeds that you have planted, you know, see them blossom and, you know, take the education that you've given them and apply it in the industry? I'm a proud mama bear right now. I'm seeing about 12 to 15 uh, graduates of the Compton Film Video Program, uh, many of them going on to USC, Northridge, Berkeley. Uh, Long Beach and also working in the industry, it, it, it makes me beam with joy because they took the lessons, the knowledge they got here and learned additional things outside of here and progressed their lives. And so when I look at all of them, it lets me know that what we're doing here is working. It lets me know that what we're doing here is investing in a greater cause. And I'm proud to say that our footprint as Compton College is all over the globe. And I can't wait uh, to continue to see them uh, change the world, literally. Man, we appreciate what you're doing, sister. And man, this is what this is what it is. Everybody out there tuning in. Yes, we are in the heart of the CPT. And it's some real major education going on. We got kids and uh, we got these students really just conquering their dreams, you feel me? And this is what it is. And Get Loaded TV, appreciate you, sister. And go ahead and give us a shout out one time. Absolutely, shout out to Get Loaded TV here at Compton College. This is where education starts and continues for life.